Good afternoon. I'm Senator Calder Royce, and I'm the proud parent of three young kids and two stepkids that I've already raised. In the two months since the state budget has passed, with zero funding for child care counts, we have heard from dozens of centers all around the state that they are having to close their doors because they cannot financially operate. And there are probably many more closures that we haven't even heard of. This is not because we don't have the money. We have $4 billion still left over from our historic surplus. It's not because we don't have a need. In fact, the biggest challenge facing our state is the workforce shortage and the fact that young people are leaving in droves. We cannot solve our workforce shortage by taking more workers out of the workforce, which is what happens when child care centers close. Every few thousand dollars of child care counts helps parents be in the workforce and generates tens or hundreds of thousands of dollars in economic activity. So we even get paid back faster than Caitlin mentioned. It is unconscionable that Republicans continue to ignore the needs of our youngest residents, of the families and workers and employers throughout our state. Even before the pandemic, child care was in crisis in our state. Over the last less than 20 years, we've lost more than half of our providers. Half the state is a child care desert. And what that means is that for every one child care slot, there are three kids who need it. And that is going to get unbelievably worse as the child care counts funds run out. In fact, a uh, national research organization found that Wisconsin stands to lose about 80,000 child care slots. Think about that. That's 80,000 children not in their early childhood education programs, their routines disrupted, parents out of the workforce. What do you think it's going to do to have 60,000 parents out of the workforce? How is that going to affect our economy? Yesterday in the state capitol, that's all right. Yesterday in the state capitol, Republicans held a hearing on a bunch of sham anti-choice bills doubling down on their strategy to ban abortion. And I don't know how you can call yourself pro-life when you devalue the people who nurture the life. Okay. When you say no to paid family leave. <laughs> Wisconsin is a terrible place to have a baby when you consider the developed world. Our infant mortality rates, our maternal mortality rates are absolutely unacceptable. And imagine, there's so much worse if you're a person of color. We actually have the worst in the nation for black and indigenous women. How can you call yourself pro-life if you say no to paid family leave, knowing that that will drastically reduce our infant maternal mortality rates. How can you call yourself pro-life if you say, we want the children brought into the world, but we're not going to pay a dime to make sure that they receive loving early childhood education from talented individuals who don't have to work in poverty while they're nurturing 90% of the brain development that every person will have. There is one answer to solving the child care crisis and the workforce crisis in our state. And it's to make sure that every single family, every single child has high quality, affordable childcare, and that every single early childhood educator is allowed to stay in the field because they can earn a living wage. And the way to do that is to pass childcare counts. With that, I thank you all for coming and I'm happy to take questions. All right, we solved the issue. Thank you very much. <laughs>